And now we head out to the Pac-12. We got Ryan Winter on the line from Sports Chat 503. So Mark. I'm disappointed that I missed a tremendous ending. I've got it on over here, but uh, people are in an uproar over Ohio State and Illinois being canceled. So That's I just really saw right. just a flurry of activity. And, uh, of course, uh, Oregon State players piling on each other following a, a huge upset win. Big win for them, man. Couldn't stop the run. You kind of saw it coming if you're a Duck fan. The defense didn't look as good as we thought it was going to be this year. And, golly, to have it happen up there at Corvallis and, and to have no fans, that's a real bummer for them because this would have been a huge moment. They would have rushed the field and everything. And you just got to tip your cap to them, though. They played a great game. Man. Ducks, 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 Ducks played okay on offense, just did not do anything defensively. Yeah, I watched most of the game. And – uh I thought Oregon certainly was, I don't want to say in control. They were clearly the better team for the first half and most of the second half. I know that it was out at a 31-19 lead fairly late in the game, and uh, they looked to be in good position. That's when I started to lose track in preparing for this. So was there a key series, uh, turnovers, anything yeah. that contributed? Yeah, I mean, there, there was a turnover touchdown. I mean, but the Beavs scored 22 points in the fourth quarter. I mean, the defense was just a sieve. The defense, had it, they had it at the end there. They got the stop, two minutes to go. And then the offense just couldn't uh, get the first down. And and that was really the ball game. If, if the offense gets the first down or two there, then then they run out the clock and Oregon wins the game and, and they move on to the next week. But, you know, the Beavs, they, they almost beat Washington as well. So it's not like these guys are chopped liver now. Yeah, we talked uh, just a few days ago about Jonathan Smith and the work that he's doing at Oregon State. And um, in addition to just watching the action on the field, it's always interesting uh, to get more familiar with the programs, the teams through the announcers, if they are doing a good job, which I thought uh, tonight's crew did in trying to convey that storyline. And they pretty much talked about the, the same narrative that we talked about the other day concerning the Oregon State um unique position that they're in challenges but what jonathan smith has done there and what what he did as a player Absolutely. and what he's accomplishing now as a coach yeah well you nailed it i mean you're the voice of college football mark I'm, I'm telling you it, we the, exactly what we said is exactly what they were saying on the broadcast and you got to believe if you're oregon state you know you, you this is a big win this is a signature win for this program this is one of the you know i was just looking at twitter that they're saying this could be the worst loss of the crystal ball era you know, this is just not a good, not a good uh, situation for the Ducks. Now, the nice thing is it's not the end of the year. <laughs> you know, you got to get a game against Cal next week, and then you got a game against Washington. Hopefully you get to play those two games. But, uh, you know, this was a big game for Oregon, Oregon State to have. And uh, just too bad the fans weren't there with COVID and everything. And I just, you got to tip the cap to the Bees. The Bees did what they needed to do to win tonight, and they played, they played a better game in the second half. They just got it done. So Oregon State had lost one of their two previous games. So both teams are one loss in the conference yeah. and one loss overall, of course. So we could have a jumbled mess uh, with this condensed season and trying to determine who's going to win either division. Well, the yeah, the bees, the bees actually lost twice. They lost to Washington State early, and they lost to Washington. They they they, they oh, could have al almost okay. won the Washington game. There was a really close call at the end there, but. Washington is the thing now. Yeah, Washington, you know, they, they could be there at the end. And if they went out and and, uh, and they beat Oregon at the end, and then they're going to go to the Pac-12 championship. Well, as you well know, most of the nation was looking at Oregon as the banner carrier for the Pac-12. Now they will have to look elsewhere to Washington or USC if there's any chance. And there right. is a chance to get to the Cali football playoff. But Oregon right. certainly had the most sizzle coming off of last year. Yeah, and I just, you know, uh, the, you, you finally, it, it finally hurt. You know, the idea that you had a lot of these guys leave. You had a lot of, you had a lot of star power leave off this defense. You know, you had uh, a, a lot of guys who were real difference makers, you know, uh, uh, not on this team. And, it, and it, it finally showed up, you know, Oregon, uh, they, they played pretty well against Stanford, got the win, you know, did what they needed to do against Washington State. You know, UCLA really tested them. You saw exactly what we saw tonight against UCLA. And, it just looks like we went up against a better running back. I'm telling you that Jamar Jefferson is going to be a fantasy football get for somebody in a couple of years. So, Ryan, if I'm adding this up correctly and uh, reducing the teams and then taking them off the list of uh, opponents, Oregon must be playing Cal next week before Washington, yeah. the final regular season game. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I mean, you know, you, you, 
people said you probably weren't going to go undefeated this year. We were hoping it was going to happen. Obviously, we wanted to go into that Washington game undefeated and have them undefeated and have that be the big game. But, you know, Oregon State, man, you got to – golly, man, you got to give them credit, man. They came out and they did what they needed to do. And and Oregon had chances, too, at the end. I mean, there was a couple – there was – I mean, they were at the goal line for three downs, you know, at the very end. And it was – it could have been a storybook ending. I mean, it really, really was a weird uh, a game, you know. But, hey – like I'm saying, the Beavs have to win of these. Some of these, uh, I've been, I'm 42 and I've only seen 10 wins. This is the 11th win for the Beavs. So they got to win too sometimes. So you got to, you got to give them credit, man. Ryan, I appreciate that you can step back. There is no question looking at your, your gear, looking at your backdrop, where your allegiances lie that could never be doubted in any way where your heart is. But then you can step back, feel good for the other guy, even if it's an in state rival, feel good about college football. I'm, when I get off here, I'm going to watch the last like seven, eight minutes of game time because I've wow. got it on the DVR right. and uh, just to make sure I take this in because I watched the entire game up until that point. Um, but but for you to be able to step back and enjoy just the, the spectacle that's college football and especially when when it's rivalry week of how special it can be. And, and this is a perfect example. Oh, absolutely. I mean, it starts off with Jamar Jefferson going up for an 82-yard touchdown. He went for a 75-yard touchdown first play last week. It's not like you didn't see that coming. And then he and then he goes off for 226 yards. I mean, that's unbelievable. He he it, Oregon ran for 183. So just one guy alone just shredded the defense. And this is again the 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 side of the ball that Oregon thought they had uh, pretty solidified going into this year. This was the side of the ball they were really kind of banking on, and it's turned out to be the opposite. It's turned out to be kind of what we're used to, which is big gaps open in the middle, big third down conversions that they make. And then at the end of the game, you know, the defense just lets it go. It's just, it's a tough situation for Oregon. We've seen this before on these national championship type years, you know, where you get tripped up by a team like this. Hopefully they can inspire them, get them right for Cal and Washington and this season, right? I'd like to encourage everyone to stop on over to Ryan's uh, channel, Sports Chat 503. So if you just type that in the search bar, here on YouTube, you will find uh, Sports Chat 503 with Ryan, and uh, it's a fun time. <laughs> Ryan, we appreciate you stopping by. Hey, thank you, Mark. Still appreciate with our program you. in the Pac-12. I mean, I, I think so. I think, I think, but I think it's also building blocks. It's a young team, a lot of question marks going into the year. It looked like first half of the year you'd kind of answered some of those questions, but tonight a lot of these other questions started to show up. So we'll get there. Thanks, Ryan. Have a great Thanks. rest of your weekend. You too, Mark. Appreciate Good you. See you. Okay.